Buenos días y bienvenidos a todos a la semana de, en otra semana de Empower Women. Vamos a comenzar esta charla presentando a nuestra fundadora y directora de Empower Women, Marisela González, así como también a nuestras líderes, Blanca Torres, administradora de Empower Women, Verónica Flores, administradora del Departamento de Registro de Empower Women, Diana Díaz, miembro del apoyo del Departamento de Registro, y María Fernanda Álvarez y Maribel Camacho, líderes del Departamento de Información de Estudiantes, y Lisette Núñez, encargada del Departamento de Diseño. También tenemos el honor de darle la bienvenida y agradecerles a, con la mesa de honor del Delta College, que hoy nos acompaña y nos da no, nuestro apoyo la directora. El, en este proyecto. Sabrina Lubiano, muchas gracias. Administradora del programa de ESL. Vicky Franco, consejera de San Joaquín de Alta College. Trini Araya, Marisol Car Corona, coach del Departamento de Comunicaciones y Lenguas TRAC. Al profesor Ricardo Aguilar, Esther Fan. Claudia Navarro del Departamento de Dreams of South Center y a todos los miembros también le damos las gracias por el gran apoyo que nos, de gran apoyo y a la mentoría de a Caridades Católicas y a todos ustedes por estar aquí. Hoy les, les habla Aurora Villa, Departamento de, del de Departamento de Recuperación y Contraseñas de Correos Electrónicos y Cómo Navegar en My Delta. Y hoy les vamos a presentar y darle la bienvenida a la doctora Heller Mallor, gerente del proyecto para los programas de Sierra Adult Education Alliance Program. Este es un programa cuyo fin es ofrecer clases y programas de ayuda destinados a ayudar a alcanzar carreras prácticas y metas personales. Asimismo, es miembro actual del Senado de Administración de San Joaquín Delta College. El Senado de Delta College promueve un ambiente de respeto y integridad y confianza mutua entre estudiantes, profesores y personal clasificado. La Junta de los Sindicatos de Administración y otras personas integradas, el bienestar y el crecimiento del colegio. Ella también es un enlace entre la Escuela de Adultos y del, del, San, jo del San Joaquín Delta College. Ella hoy nos va um, a presentar cómo tomar clases gratis de la escuela de adultos. Si tú estás en la escuela de adultos para entrar a San Joaquín Delta College y va a tener de traductora a Esther Márquez, Márquez perdón, del Dreamers Excel Center. Muchas gracias y bienvenidos a todos. Right. Permítanme un segundo. Tengo tres pantallas. Este, share. ¿Pueden ver el PowerPoint? Sí, sí se ve. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, ahorita lo voy a activar. Está tomando un poquito de tiempo. Ok. Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> ok, Heather, I'm ready. All right, perfect. Um, just want to say good morning um, and thank you again for inviting me to be a part of your group and just to speak about um, some really great opportunities for our students, uh, not only in the community, but also at Delta College. Um, so just to give you a little bit of background, um, I myself have been working uh, with uh, Delta Sierra Adult Education Alliance um, since for about five years now. Uh, my background has been for, I've been working with students, um, not only at uh, University of Pacific, but I got my start at San Juan King Delta College, um, working with um, Sabrina and the uh, EL Lab 
And, um, and I have a great passion and dedication to our students and specifically our undocumented immigrant youth um, and adults. So just a little bit of background of myself, um, but just to let you know that our consortium consists of, we have um, six major adult schools in the county, uh, San Joaquin County area. So we're talking, um, we have um, Stockton, Lodi, Manteca, Tracy. Uh, we even have a small one in River Delta um, as well as we just have a newly um, opened uh, Lincoln Unified has now an adult school dedicated to um, um, our um, to our families um, that it's they have a similar parent and empowerment group of students in that um, that at that adult school. So and then we also are working with uh, Calaveras County Office of Ed in Calaveras and um, San Joaquin County Office of Ed as well. Um, go ahead, next slide. So one of the things that I wanted to, oh, go ahead. Uh, uh, primero que nada, les quiero dar la bienvenida y muchas gracias por tenerme hoy. Este, voy a ver si, si me puedo correr de todo. Este, tengo cinco años en esta profesión. He estado trabajando también con Sabrina. Este, hay seis escuelas este, para adultos que vienen siendo en la ciudad de Tracy, Stockton, pero la más reciente ha sido en el eh, Unified District de Lincoln, que se ha abierto. Este, y le vamos a seguir. Uh, give me just one second. You no know worries. There we go. Yeah. Um, so just recently, um, the, the state has opened up this opportunity for our students. There already has been in place dual enrollment for our high school students, but now they've opened it up to under SB 554 for our adult school students. Um, so so today I'm gonna to share with you what is exactly SB 554? What are the benefits of SB 554? And how, how, do, a, how do we get started? How does, how does a student get started in, in being a part of this? So go ahead. Recientemente, recientemente han abierto este, la, la oportunidad para que las escuelas de adulto puedan ingresar a este programa. Antes era solamente para los de la preparatoria. Entonces ahora se les va a explicar qué es lo que es SB554 y cómo proceder. All right, the next slide. All right, so like I had said, it's in, you know, expands dual enrollment for our students that are attending an adult school that are actively engaged in a high school diploma or working towards some form of a high school equivalency program. Um, I know um, so it allows for them to be able to enroll at Delta College as a, spark, a, a special part-time admit for 11 units. Eh, el SB554 es la amplificación de la doble inscripción para los estudiantes que están en el proceso para recibir su diploma de la preparatoria o, o un programa equivalente. Eh, se, la, se le autoriza al estudiante que está por recibir su diploma o certificado equivalente a inscribirse como estudiante de medio tiempo en un colegio comunitario este, de unidad de 11 unidades. And this also, when you see the word, you know, equivalency, where I'm also, um, there's, you know, what they call the GED. And I know like Stockton has um, a Spanish GED program. So this would, this also um, is, would be for those students as well. Esto sería también como mencionó lo, el certificado equivalente de una diploma eh, que creo y ahora ya también está en español. Yeah. And I know, um, and so some of the benefits for SB 554 is there's no tuition affiliated, no fees, no books, open educational resource, it streamlines enrollment. Um, and it also allows for our students to go on to a career path, especially while they're completing their high school diploma or high school equivalency. So hold on. Entonces, eh, ¿cuáles son los beneficios? Eh, elimina los costos para la matriculación, libros y otras tarifas. Eh, simplifica la inscripción. Es una oportunidad de comenzar una profesión mientras terminan con su diploma de la preparatoria o un programa equivalente. Uh, one of the things that I forgot to add on here is, um, go back, go back to the next, well, it's okay, is that um, one of the huge benefits of SB 554 that 
is the same for dual enrollment. I mean, it's the dual enrollment for a high school student and for our, our adult ed students is that it closed the equity gap. It allows for our students who are specifically undocumented or um, undocumented youth that, you know, would be, um, would have to show residency. They do not have to show residency. There is a loophole, as we say. So if we have a, we have students that are in a position of, of undocumented or, or residency status, they would be able to apply and be a part of the SB 554 program um, without, and still be able to have the benefit of no tuition, no fees, and no books. El gran beneficio de esto es que los beneficia a los estudiantes indocumentados, ya que no tienen que tener prueba de su residencia o cualquier documento. Este es el mismo beneficio que se le daría a un estudiante de la prepa, como el programa bajo dual en enrollment. Entonces serían los mismos beneficios donde no no haría no tendrían costos como para matricularse, los libros y, y, y las otras tarifas. Entonces es el mismo beneficio donde se cierra el, el como quien dice, es una entrada, un lupo, como le dice, es una entrada para poder este, que los estudiantes ingresen al Delta College. Yeah. And, and one of the things that SB 554 um, states is that students have to show proof of being active at the adult school, specifically in a high school diploma. However, I know that other um, consortiums um, associated to a college, you know, implementing SB 554 are working, trying to work it around at the local level to where our students that are um, actively enrolled in ESL classes or ELL classes can then and um, can partake as well. Entonces, el, lo, lo que están haciendo es tratando de que las clases que están tomando ESL y ELL sean también este medio de este programa uh, poder ser incluidos. Este, I'm sorry, Heather, can you repeat a bit the, the first part that you had mentioned? I don't know, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, the part of um, the other consortiums that the law states that technically the SB 554, it's supposed to be for active high school diploma students at the adult school. However, entonces, they're working around, go ahead. Lo que pasa es que tienen que demostrar que están activos y son participantes de estas escuelas para poder sacar su GED, un programa equivalente. Entonces, esto les ayuda a poder este, eliminar el proceso de que tienen que demostrar. Entonces, Con las clases están trayendo, incluyendo las ESL y ELL para también que sean parte de este programa. Thank you, Esther. Um, so some of the steps that we have in place for our students is, um, as you know, they will enroll as an official um, Delta College student. They'll submit an application. They will also complete what we call a um, college early start form. And the link is there. And just like um, all, of, all the students that we have that are going to Delta, we have them also complete the online orientation, student ed plan, as well as um, keep in contact with their adult school counselor and connect with our success coach. Entonces, para comenzar, estos son los pasos. El primero es llenar y enviar su aplicación, eh, tal y cual como cualquier otro estudiante. Llenar y enviar su formulario para el College Early Start. Este, ir a la orientación que se está ofreciendo en línea, este, estar en comunicación con su consejero de, um, de AES o con Heather Malloy y conectarse con un success coach también. And then I'm providing also, and I didn't know if I included it in, um, in this presentation, but the steps to, um, to, have, to be a part of this learning community, what we call the directing adults or the right track to um, employment. Um, so, um, did you want me to go to the next? Yeah, go to the next slide. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can't remember. Okay, so I've actually updated this form, and that's what I submitted just now. Um, but these are again, these are the steps for how to get um, go through the process. Um, but I just updated it. The one form that's attached has the links that are live, and they can click on it. 
Este, estos son los pasos, pero ha sometido por vía chat, creo, este, las, un, este, los pasos más recientemente que se han cambiado un poco, pero aquí están los pasos en cómo registrarse en el programa de doble inscripción. Es abrir una cuenta con CCC, esperar a recibir su el correo electrónico, el número de identificación estudiantil, enviar una aplicación completa para College Early Start este, con el formulario SB554. Después de llenar y enviar la aplicación uh, Promise Grant, inscribirse a las clases, ir a orientación en línea y por último crear un plan estudiantil con un tutor académico también como, conocido como un academic advisor. Yeah, perfecto. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, so yeah, so one of the things that um, I had mentioned is, you know, we're trying to connect our students um, to, um, to, to, to these different short-term um, certificates. And we have so many different variety of certificates and that's, and that's where I had sent, um, just sent the, uh, we developed a learning community called Directing Adults on the Right Track to Employment. And so uh, for the summer, we'll be having um, three courses um, where it's um, called Counseling 30 and 31 and English 33A. Um, to support students in just kind of figuring out, you know, what is the best um, career choice for them. Entonces, han creado una conexión con carreras técnicas y certificados que, de hecho, este verano están saliendo con dos clases adicionales para poder este, tomar en cuenta qué decisiones quieren hacer los estudiantes, qué carreras quieres, que quieren tomar certificados, carreras técnicas, uh, pero que esté la conexión entre la educación y las carreras técnicas. Okay. Um, let me follow with the rest images. Uh, las carreras técnicas son la, son la solución a la escasez de la mano de obra. Las carreras, las carreras de CTE son el centro y lo del, del conocimiento académico y el técnico o capacitación de habilidades especializadas por, para, trabaja, para trabajos de habilidad media. Nuestro Colegio Delta ofrece más de 100 certificados y programas de título trabajan uh, trabajos de habilidad media. Son de altos sal salarios, uh, alta habilidad con alta técnica y con una alta demanda. Estos certificados y programas se pueden lograr entre seis meses a tres años. Uh, son carreras cortas. And, and one of the things that I think is really important, oops, sorry, this got all kind of wonky, um, but is, you know, with, with your group, you know, empowering women, you know, Uh, one of the things that I'm trying to, you know, um, kind of break the barrier is for our women students to know that there are so many positions and jobs that are high wage entry level jobs that, that they, um, that are available to them, you know, short term training, you know, we have welding, we have, um, you know, um, I can give you a list, but many different, I know that I'll give you an example. Welding is a very much needed um, job, you know, because women are able to um, do the finer things and, and be able to, um, so that's one of the um, degrees that I'm kind of trying to promote within the women, women industry. And there's several other ones. There's plumbing, there's electrical, there's, you know, um, but ella les quiere dejar saber que estos certificados y programas no solamente son para hombres, aunque por la mayoría de las veces los hombres son los que hacen trabajos como cerraduría, plomería, este, eh, de electricista. Ella quiere empujar más a las mujeres que, que, que como quien dice, pues se avienten a estas, a estas carreras técnicas porque también tienen ventajas de que vienen con altos salarios. And then the, the list of um, contacts. So we have Kong Wen, who is Stockton Adult at the adult school. We have Lodi Adult. Um, we have Leslie Dahlquist and Eric Kimball at Tracy Adult. And each one of them are our counselor transition specialists that work with all the teachers at the school and kind of just supporting them and helping them through, you know, their decision and transitioning, um, you know, and kind of helping them figure out, you know, what's, what's the best um, possible, um, you know, um, you know, goal for them? Are they looking at, you know, they want to go into a job right away? Do they want to go in and 
um, do a quick training and, and then get a job or transfer to a four-year university. So these are the three kind of core members that are part of working with me, not only our Delta counselors and success coaches, but to help um, our students get to from, you know, the adult school to wherever their destination is. Entonces, estas tres, estas tres personas que están aquí, que vienen siendo Leslie, Lodai, Kong, en Stockton y Tracy, Eric, ellos se comunican con los maestros para poder saber qué carreras este, quieren tomar sus estudiantes, se comunican con ellos para poder alinear las clases y los certificados, este, y ellos, les, ellos son los que les pueden ayudar. Um, sorry, I, I, I'm not sure what my next slide is. I can't. Sorry, it, it will, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, because I can also share a little more if you want about the learning community I created. Or are we? Yes. Or are you? Yes, are you please. okay with this? Or I mean, yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'll um, if you want, I could I could share my screen and I'll send you that power. This this other PowerPoint I have too is an update if you want to. Okay. So hold on real quick. Okay, so this basically, so we already discussed, here I'll go ahead and put this in presentation mode. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, okay, so we already went over, you know, the benefits you know, again, these are the adult school partners that are working uh, with us in, in kind of supporting our students. Um, we went over this. So, so I wanted to talk to you. This just actually kind of happened in between the time that, you know, I was asked to present. So we now have what we call a learning community. So we have a designated um, counselors and teachers that are dedicated to our students coming from the adult school to Delta College. Um, and so, All right, let, call, let me, yeah, let please, me. yeah, just interrupt me if I, I go for it. Darte es un nuevo lugar para aprender, es un lugar comunitario. Esto se acaba de iniciar entre cuando le preguntaron para presentar y hoy, entonces esto es adi eh, información adicional donde este, hay consejeros y maestros este, donde están tomando eh, la conexión para hacer que los estudiantes puedan este, terminar la escuela de adultos, pero a la misma vez poder seguir uh, para seguir yendo a la escuela como estudiante en Delta. All right, awesome. And so it's going to be a small uh, cohort. Um, and again, students will be able to enroll in our, our learning community. And I'll share with you the courses that we will be, the students can actually take in the summer while completing their high school diploma. And um, during este va a ser un programa que va a incluir solamente una cierta cantidad de estudiantes este para comenzar de este parte darte learning community este entonces nomás van a ser un mínimo so eh, que va a comenzar este verano. Okay. Yeah, so so some of the courses and I'll share with you right now. Um, let me just so this is kind of what we're we're trying to do is to have our students come through um, and kind of have, you know, kind of help kind of guide them and show them the different tracks that are available. Este es el plan que están iniciando este, para los estudiantes. Estas son las clases que van a estar ofreciendo para que puedan estar en un plan estudiantil para poder este, ingresar y terminar en estos programas. Perfect. And then, um, and so here, you know, joining DART, you get, you know, their free college classes. And if you become an, a, you know, Delta College student, we do have laptops offered. Um, and then these, the courses listed um, do not require books for purchase. They're all um, what they call open educational resources. Entonces, estos son los pasos para poder someter este, a someterse a este curso, a este cohort, como quien dice. Y este viene con, o sea, es gratuito con tanto como las clases como los libros. De hecho, no tienen que comprar libros porque vienen parte del programa. Y si son un estudiante de Delta, entonces también se les ofrece una computadora portátil. Yeah, and so for summer, we're going to have 
um, English 33A. And so even though it's called Study Skills for Success in College, um, I highly recommend this for our students when um, just kind of it's it's basically a course of like life management and just kind of the balance of school and work and life and and it's designed to help support them also in their coursework for 30 and 31 and kind of looking at these different you know um, careers um, and also what is a career that would best fit who they are and their and where they want to go. Entonces comenzando con la primera clase es eh, inglés 31 a y se las recomiendan a todos porque es un, les enseñan un balance en, en cómo este, poder estar estudiando, trabajando y la vida diaria. Este, entonces también se les ayuda. Esta clase les va a ayudar para inglés 30 y 31, creo que dije. Um, and then our, our hope is also then, well, we will be having a fall class um, where students will be able to enroll uh, with an instructor for English 1A, uh, 95, um, a math course that counts as a transferable math, as well as a counseling eight um, to kind of support um, the students through their, um, the, their course. And so, so the first eight weeks will be, um, the English 1A, second eight weeks is counsel is psych two, and then the whole 16 weeks is counseling eight. Entonces, tenía la esperanza de que Nelly en el otoño comience la clase English 1A, este, en conclusión de esta, de las otras dos clases, psych two y count um, ocho, para poder que las primeras, uh, did you say eight weeks? 16 weeks. So the counseling eight will be 16 weeks. So English 1A 95 is eight weeks, the first eight weeks of the semester. It's like okay, two is the second eight weeks. Entonces las primeras son, la, el counseling son 16 semanas y las otras son de ocho semanas. Um, and then I, I, this again is the flyer that I had, I had sent in the chat. And if you click on each of these links, it will take you to, um, for example, we have the meet with the counselor our designated counselor that are, is um, supporting our students from the adult school to Delta is uh, Diane Finnick. Entonces, si ustedes abren este, eh, lo puso en el chat, este panfleto, este pueden hacer, pueden oprimir a cada paso y se les lleva a cada paso que tienen que iniciar. Por ejemplo, tienen ya una consejera asignada para los estudiantes de este programa. Entonces, si le hacen clic, pueden comunicarse con esa persona en particular. And then um, as well as our success coach, um, the, the dedicated success coach that we have for our students is Laura Magallanes. Um, la, la persona asignada de uh, Laura es la persona asignada para success coach para este programa particular. Yeah. And then our hope is since this is a pilot is to expand it to, to um, be designed for other um, different um, pathways. So for example, we'll have, uh, we're looking at having a, um, some form of an ESL class, um, kind of a bridge to Delta College at the adult schools into this program as well. Entonces este programa, como quien dice, es un piloto, es la primera vez y lo están intentando para poder aplicar este programa en otras opciones, tanto como en clases de ESL y seguir este programa este, continuamente. Yeah, and our hope is to connect them also to our students that may want to take, um, you know, other, um, maybe additional um, uh, ESL courses if, if they want to, or they can go into English 1A. Oh. La esperanza es de que los estudiantes se, se motiven de, de esta forma para poder seguir tomando otras clases necesarias de ESL para seguir adelante. An option for them to be able to do both. Una opción para ellos. Okay, um, I think that, let me just look on the end of here. Um, I, here is the, sorry, the formatting is correct. So I know someone was taking a picture of it. Um, and so if you wanted to take a, take a picture of it correctly, so it's not, here it is for you guys. Información más adecuadamente alineada para que si alguien creo y estaba queriendo tomar una foto, si la quieren volver a tomar, está mejor alineada que en el, en el, in the previous. And then um, again, thank you so much. Gracias. Y si tienen preguntas. Any questions or thoughts or anything to add 
maybe something for me to consider for our students that could be of a benefit through this process. Algo que le pueda beneficiar también a ella para ayudar, seguir ayudando a los estudiantes, este, ideas que tengan ustedes son bienvenidas. Heather. Yes. Uh, when you call a college early start because it's for certain group of age or is for adults also? It's adults also. It's yeah. Adults also. Mm -hmm. you, okay. It's not only for students that they have been in, in high school they didn't finish high school. They went to adult school to get the GED certificate and then come to Delta. Or can be anybody as an adult. I can go, I can go directly to school for adults, start my ESL classes. And can I come to Delta also? You can come to Delta also. Yes. So the so way the, the Senate bill is designed is that it's meant for any active adult school student. Mm -hmm. um, so you're enrolled at the adult school. Technically, it's supposed to be you're enrolled and actively pursuing your, your GED or high school diploma or high school equivalency. But right now, they're working on trying to change it to where it's, it doesn't limit our students that are just high, you know, the high school diploma students, but it to be expanded out for those that are taking ESL classes. That is our hope. How long do I have to be in a, in a school for adults to be part of the program? There is no, there's no time limit as long as the counselor, see, that's the key thing. So that's a great question. Thank you, Sabrina. Is that, um, so the CES form, once the student fills it out, it's then sent to the dedicated counselor for that, for that school district. So for example, we have uh, Stockton Adult. So it'll go right to Kong. If Kong can look you up and say, okay, I know that student is active, he'll click on the button and you're on your way. Okay. So they don't go and then they go, oh, you've only been here for a month. You can't go. There's no limitations. I'm not putting limits on our students. Okay, then if I ask, I want to be specific. If I ask, came from Peru. I am undocumented. I have been here for one month. I start a school for adults for ESL, taking ESL classes. They say, well, I want to go to Delta. I can fill it out at four. And then for the following semester, can I come to Delta and get a vocational certificate? You can come and get a vocational certificate. Now, those are good questions. So Again, it is supposed to be that they're actively at re, in the adult school, mm -hmm. technically getting their, their GED or high school diploma. Okay, so, can, I, can I take it in Spanish? You say, okay. I you can do Spanish for, GED, yeah. For the GED, I enroll for the Spanish GED. I haven't done it, but I am taking it. I have one semester there. Mm -hmm. I am illegal, I don't have any papers. Mm -hmm. Then I fill out the four and can I start a school uh, classes at Delta? Yeah. No fishing, no books. Nobody is going to say you have no papers. Nope. Wow. Yep. That's amazing. It's awesome. Like it makes me, it just gives me chills because it's like, it's yeah. such an opening. It's a huge opening for our students to be able to be a part of Delta and not having to worry about paying the heavy fees. And for Absolutely. how long can I, do I have that benefit? Until as long I as you are actively benefit. engaged at the adult school. Then I can be taking uh, my GD at the at school for adults. And can I enroll to ESL classes at Delta or has to be a vocational certificate? Nope, you can, you can enroll in any course you want, any course. So wow. if you have a student that knows they want to take ESL classes, they're actively pursuing their GED or high school diploma at the adult school, no problem. Now, the only problem is, is if it's not a part of the com learning community, and this is something I'm working on is expanding the courses that are what they call open educational resources to where our students don't have to pay fees. Because Chafee College down south is the one that's kind of been pushing and had been the front runner on this. And they actually now have a list of 20 courses that are open educational resources for our students. So that means no book, 
is pay, no fees are required. And they're even some of the sciences. Okay. And, you know, science classes are expensive. So we're starting out small again, like this is a pilot. So those classes that I listed, so you have the English 33, counseling 30, counseling 31, as well as English 1A, the psych class, and the counseling class, all those courses don't require any books. The books are already, they basically have designed it to be ed open educational resources. I, we have a students, we have a contact with the HEP program. Uh -huh. That's also the, the GD, yes, for the HEP program. Yeah. Do they also qualify for that? For Yeah. As long as they are actively engaged in a GED or high school diploma, they should. this should be free. When you say actively, it means when I finish my GED at the school for adults, when I get my certificate, that's it. Is that's when it. my and that's my free education start stops, and I have to start paying. You have to start paying. Then I can take three years to get my GED, and I can come to Delta. <laughs> I'm not putting limits. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> There is no limit in the legislation how long it takes. And we do have students that it has taken some time. So. Yeah, I am a slow learner in that case. No. Yeah. <laughs> All good. Oh, that's amazing. That's that's amazing, Dr. Malloy. Thanks for the for the information. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I, I apologize for, for being late. And I, I out of all respect for you, I, I greatly apologize. So I'm really excited to be able to present this information. I'm more than welcome to come and um, speak. If you have any questions, you have my information. I'd love to, you know, if you can, if you want to individually call me, you can, I'll be happy to give you my cell phone if you wanted more information, so. Yeah. Other, um, thank you, first of all, for being with us. Um, and I really want to connect with you um, so that we can collaborate. Yeah. Um, of the Dreamer Success Center to see how we can collaborate and hit up all those adults, adult schools. Um, I know Sergio, um, as a resource specialist, was doing that, and I don't want to drop the ball on this, and especially now that we have this. This yes. So I am. I will be in contact. Oh, perfect! I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, guys, so much. Again, greatly appreciate you and and all that you you do. So thank you, and have a. I don't know if you need if you have any other questions before yeah, I leave yeah, or if you have more. Don't say, say bye yet. Uh, I'm gonna say bye yet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know I me, mean, you know I have a, a lot of questions. Oh please. I love it. Videos. Okay. Uh, alguien tiene preguntas porque si no hacen preguntas que no entendieron nada. Así es que más vale que pregunten. A lo mejor si usted uh, pregunta la, lo, lo que le preguntó ahorita Sabrina. Se los dice en español aquí a todos porque es muy importante que los que lo. Okay, yo lo que I I going to translate in in Spanish the question I asked you, Dr. Maroy. Okay. Le pregunté a ella que si yo acabo de venir de Perú, no tengo papeles y estoy voy a, voy a, apenas empecé a agarrar mi GD, que si puedo empezar a tomar clases a Delta, que si califico y dice que sí, que si califico. Entonces, ¿puedo empezar a tomar clases de inglés gratis a Delta sin ningún documento ser indocumentada? Que sí, que sí puedo tomarlos sin ningún problema. Dice, ok, ¿por cuánto tiempo lo puede tomar? Dice, mientras estés tomando, sacando tu GIRI, mientras estés en la escuela de adultos inscrita, estudiando para tu GIRI, puedes venir a Delta y tener las clases gratis. Dice, entonces, ¿puedo tardar tres años en sacar mi GIRI en la escuela de adultos para tener clases en Delta gratis y dice que sí, que ellos no están poniendo límites de ese tipo, no hay ningún límite para ellos de esa manera. Entonces esto abre una puerta enorme para y también aplican para el GEP, que no es escuela de adultos, pero es GD. Entonces para los alumnos del GEP también aplica. Entonces, pues, pues esto es todo una green light para tengamos todos educación gratis, no importa que no tengamos estatus. Así es que si quieren hacer unas preguntas, ahorita es cuando. ¿Qué es lo que necesitas, Sabrina, para poder tomar un curso? Necesitas, Vero, estar inscrita en la escuela de adultos sacando tu GD, que puede ser en español también. Es el, el requisito. 
Sí, y yo mientras estés que... inscrita en la escuela de adultos para sacar tu GD, puedes continuar tomando clases gratis a Delta, aunque no tengas papeles. ¿Y si yo tengo el GD? ¿De aquí o de tu país? No, de aquí. Aquí. Eh, Doctor Maloy, Vero is asking, eh, what happened if she has her GED already? And she doesn't qualify? Yeah, she has her GED already, but if she's actively participating in a course at Delta College, I mean, at, at the adult school, that's something that we're working around. So it, it takes away the limits from her. But if she has, does she have her GED here or home country? Here. Yeah. Yes, here. Then it's school for adults, they offer certain certificates also like typing and then. Yeah, CTE, they have a front office adults. business. So we're trying to, I'm trying to work um, around how we can open that door for our students. Because technically it's supposed to be, you have, it's only supposed to be those who are actively participating in their GED or high school diploma. Not for vocational, not. But, but does it say anything about CTE? Go ahead, sorry. It, it doesn't say anything about the vocational, if they're doing like a vocational. Um, I, it says, see that was the thing that I, um, I can go back to legislation. I thought I had read if it's a vocational, it's okay. But if they're doing, if they're doing something other than that, um, they, they wouldn't qualify. They so vocational qualify. will be? Like CTE. Like any kind of like career technical, if they're working on like a front office, back office, keyboarding, which they do have at the school for adults, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then they qualify or they will qualify. But I believe they will qualify, but I could double check that and give you that cor that correct answer. So. Okay. Let, let me tell you. But I, but I, como tú ya tienes tu GD, mm -hmm. ya no calificas por ese lado, pero si estás tomando algún otra clase en la escuela de adultos, ya ves que, bueno, yo sabía antes, ahorita no sé, pero ofrecen este typing, ofrecen carreras este, técnicas, carreras técnicas. técnicas. Si estás envuelta en alguna de ellas, ella va a, a, este, a revisar sus notas, a ver uh -huh. si sí pueden calificar todavía para tener clases gratis en Delta mientras estés tomando alguna carrera técnica en la escuela de adultos. Es, Eso es lo, bien. todavía lo va a, 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 este, a hacer. Okay. Ahora que si tienen el GD en su país, pues vas a tener que tomarlo aquí también para que califiquen. Sí. Estoy oh, en pues... de adultos, pero estudiando Cines en Chiclas, pero aquí en Manteca. Um, like taking a citizenship class. Uh -huh. that she, so that's one thing that I'm going to add. I'm writing it down right now. I'm going to email Chafee College to see if they're, how they went about um, opening that door for our students, those who want to take a citizenship class or um, any other any other courses, and especially ESL. I want to say that there is a, a consortium um, and in the Bay Area that has opened that door outside of, it, of the GED and high school diploma. So I, let me get that. Because it may have to be that we have to have our board locally approve it, saying that, yes, we can do that. So. Okay. Va a estar en proceso, van a ver si, este, si lo tiene que ser aprobado primero por el board mm -hmm. de aquí del colegio, y, pero hay otra escuela que ya lo, ya lo aprobó, entonces va, va, a, ver, va a, este, a investigar sobre eso que puede ser ella aquí con nosotros, sobre todo para que se abra para quien esté estudiando clases de inglés y puedan mm -hmm. venir para acá. Gracias. De nada, pero a ti. Okay. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Usually for, for the students that they can go to a school for adults, they have to be 18 or older. That's Otherwise right. they'll be in high school then. Yeah. Any any student 18 or older can qualify, doesn't it doesn't have a limit, is it? No. As long as you're an adult, 18 and you're registered, there's no limit. So if you're 65 or 80, you can do it. Don't matter. <laughs> the high schoolers uh, don't qualify if they're not 18. Yeah, they don't. We have a student that she's at her age. She's 17 and a half, or actually technically she's gonna be turning 18 in like two weeks. 
and she, she turned in her CES form. She's in the, at the adult school, but um, the, they, they wouldn't let her do that until she turns 18. So then when she turns 18, she has to turn another one of those forms in. No, nah, they'll just make it active. No, oh, okay. No, she's a special case. So they're just going to wait until she turns 18 and then just make her active. I'm, I'm, I'm asking because I know that there's a lot of parents here that have kids in high school that are probably in the same situation where like they, you know, they don't have documents, you know, documented um, status. Well, yeah. They shouldn't be. So our students, even for the dual enrollment at in the college early start that are high school kids, like high school students under 18, this still qualifies. They technically are not supposed to be giving doing any paperwork and they could take Delta college classes. It, they, it, it's not a problem. No paperwork is required for if they want to be a part of it. I know that because that's when they say it's expansion of dual enrollment. It's the exact same thing for our high school students, college early start students that if they're at the adult, um, at the high school, they could still take Delta college classes. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying, because when I was an academic oh in the high schools yeah to, I used to tell students that were undocumented status students like okay you know what you haven't met back in the day when 8540 when they used to require three years yeah slowly that was it if they didn't meet those three years I would tell students I know I'm you know it's probably not the thing that I'm telling you to do but if you want to go to college for free with having those 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 you know state fees waived yeah just that uh, Continue your high school at a, a school for adults for another year. You know, another word. They have a year, so they have the residence. Try to, try to fail one course on purpose. I mean, I know it's bad to say, but yeah. because the 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 money is real when you're undocumented. You know, it's that's it's everything. It's outrageous. It's, it's outrageous. absolutely outrageous. And so I would tell him, I'm I'm sorry to tell you this, but that's the only way that you're going to get those fees waived as a foreign you know, student, they're not going to charge you as a foreigner. If you have three oh. years, we can prove. So go to school for adults for one more year and yeah. then you will be qualified, you know? So then I'm thinking about right now about the high school students right now that are undocumented status students, you know, that, I mean, what can, what can we do? Right. Just. Yeah. 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 In that period of time. So what you're telling me is, and maybe I had it wrong, so I apologize. So currently right now for our high school students, they have to still show residency in order to take place into those, those dual enrollment courses. No, but once they're done with dual enrollment. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. That's it. Like, I got don't, it. Yeah. Don't yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Understand. Yeah, ask all of our students to fail just to be a part of this. I mean, but it is a big loophole. But um Le estaba preguntando a la señora Maloy que si que, que por ejemplo si ustedes tienen hijos en la en la prepa, ¿verdad? Que um, que quieren tomar ventaja de este programa, o sea, tendrían que no, como quien dice, no graduarse de la prepa para poder tomar ventaja de este curso después de que salieran técnicamente de la prepa y, y se Es, y se, se este, apuntaran en la escuela de adultos, ¿verdad? Así para que pudieran venir técnicamente gratis al colegio, ¿verdad? Eso les digo que yo cuando trabajaba en las prepas, cuando estaba en aquellos tiempos la ley de la AB 540, que nomás aceptaban estrictamente tres años, estrictamente uh, en la prepa nada más. Entonces yo le decía a los estudiantes, no te quiero decir esto, pero la única forma que te van a pagar es de que Si este, repruebas una clase y te vas a la escuela de adultos y duras ahí otro año para que hagas tu, tu año escolar ahí, tus tres años, ya te puedas apuntar al Delta y, y te puedan este, cobrar como un estudiante que no eres extranjero, un estudiante que reside aquí en el estado de California, ¿verdad? Y a lo mejor era así como este, algo muy drástico y, y muy, a lo mejor no les tenía que haber dado yo esa, como ese consejo, ¿verdad? Porque era como decir, no te vas a graduar, no vas a caminar con tu clase, pero vas a agarrar la ayuda financiera por los próximos dos años gratis o por lo menos bajita. Porque como para uno, una persona que es indocumentada, tres mil dólares es mucho. Tres mil dólares, nueve mil dólares en un año es más. Entonces yo lo hacía por esa manera, ¿verdad? De, de poderles um, ahorrar esos diez mil, veinte mil dólares que se iban a, 
a gastar aquí en dos años en el Delta, ¿verdad? Pero este, ahorita lo estoy tratando de, de, de a ver cómo le podemos dar la vuelta para, para que los estudiantes que estén ahorita en la prepa, que se estén preparando para graduarse de la prepa, este, a lo mejor este, puedan también tomar ventaja de esto y este, irse a la escuela de adultos y terminar su prepa allí y así, así toman ventaja de este programa y no les cobran, ¿verdad? Pero, o sea, eso ya es como irnos al extremo, ¿verdad? Pero ella dice que, pues, que básicamente, pues, sí me entiendo lo que me estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? Pero, o sea, es difícil porque para los estudiantes indocumentados sí es muy, muy, mucho dinero, mucho dinero. Ah, si no hay programas así como estos. Y ahorita este programa es una oportunidad que tienen ellos para poder meterse a, al colegio con todas las clases pagadas, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí está. Es como una línea muy, muy claro. delgadita, ¿verdad? Ahí. Es un plan muy bueno que pueden, como ustedes que ya tienen esa experiencia, guiar, guiar a nuestra comunidad y sí se puede. Hagamos el plan y está perfecto. Es una extraordinaria información. Eh, también sería bueno, Marisela, este, conectarse con Stack to Unify School. Sí. Si puedo hacer otra, otra tengo, pregunta con tengo los, llevar sí, a gente. Tengo los contactos de, de la encargada de la escuela de adultos y estaba pensando um, hablar con ella sobre esto y es extraordinario. Que fuera ella a darnos la plática. Uh -huh. Y Jeff sí, también. We were talking about uh, Dr. Maloy. Uh, Marisela is the founder of the Power Women Group and she has a contact with the Stack to Unify School with the, the person in charge of all Hispanic Uh, leaders from uh, from every high school. Okay. We went there. We visit them uh, last time uh, to talk about all Delta College resources. And I was telling Marisela if she can contact again this person that is in charge of the program, and if you are interested, uh, invite you to give that information absolutely to the Hispanic okay. community. Thank you. Absolutely. Most Sign of them speak up. English. Uh -huh. Most of them speak awesome. English, but there is a Hispanic parent representing every high school from the from the whole district. Um, can you tell me her the, the person's name? I mean, I know Dana. Vara. Vara. Okay. So I know there's a Maggie Canella. I know. Yeah, she, I know Maggie Canella too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she, I know. So is she involved in this group as well? Or is it different? Is she in a different group? Because I know she's involved in Stock to Unify with two different. Oh, okay. Sorry. They both work together. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You give them my information or, or what, however you want to do the connection. I'd be, lo I would love to present. And cause, cause again, this is very new information. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I, am, it, it's, I am in shock. That's amazing information for our community. It's the opportunity for our community can reach a great life. And uh, we spread this information for all Stackton. Yes. <laughs> we yes, are, I am all for it. Absolutely. Like, yeah. take me anywhere. I'll shout it out to the yeah. rooftop. And, but we, I mean, we are a, a ESL students. We come in from ESL students and we know exactly a community. And that that's a very important need for our community. So we are so excited. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Absolutely. I'm just, I'm just here to help in any way possible. That's, that's been my job. Yeah. yeah. I'm really excited. Do uh, you have any more, más preguntas? <laughs> <laughs> any more questions? Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Uh, I am so excited. I am. I am excited too. What do you? I'm. I'm all like this too. <laughs> and and Sabrina knows how I get excited with the students too, so she knows I can get crazy. Yes, I I was telling them that you you are like cheerleader. You're always pushing. Like, yeah, you can you can do it. What has? You are full of energy. <laughs> yeah, you are full of energy. We, are, we just love it when we have you in the program. Yeah. She was, eh, ella fue maestra de ESL. Estuvo con nosotros entonces. Estuvo mucho tiempo. And with Trina, we're talking about your mom also, that she was my teacher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's still there. She was actually at the house when I got, and I heard, I was like, mom, <laughs> 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 she's still not, she's actually going to be teaching the English 1A course for our learning. Really? Yeah, oh, that's, she's, she's going to teach the, the English 1A and 95 class. Um, she's going to do that next uh, for fall semester. Yeah, I took 1A in, in 79 with her. Six in the morning. 
<laughs> yeah, she she definitely is the champion of our of our students as well. Yes, yeah, she is. She yeah. Is. So I learned from the best. Right. I know you are great. <laughs> Thank you. Más preguntas, familia? No. Tiene que ser en la escuela de Stockton o puede ser la de Manteca o en otro otra ciudad. She's Vero is asking it has to be a school for adults in Stockton or it can be Manteca. It, it is actually all of the schools. So the ones that I showed you, I have every single one of our adult schools is listed. It is listed. Um, yeah. same can thing you show with that me. one again? Yeah. Say that again. Show that. Can you show yes. that for yeah. everyone again? Hold on. Hold on. Way everybody knows. Yeah. Es de cualquier escuela, pero. Close your eyes. Don't get, don't get crazy. Okay, there. See, here we have Stockton, Lodi, Manteca, Tracy, Calvers, and Wind River. And, and, uh, and so these are all the programs that have active GED and high school diploma, high school equivalency programs. So I have some students at, um, at Stockton, Lodi. I had over 30 students um, SB55 students that had enrolled this first spring. And this is the first time that we um, had opened this floodgate. And it's been in, it's been um, in legislation for, it will be almost three years. And just now, like, to be honest, community colleges didn't even know what to do with SB554. Um, so there's, we're actually one of maybe three community colleges that have implemented for our for our, our students. So just to show you how new it is. And then I can I can add this slide deck because I know it's a little different from the one that you had, Esther. Do you want me to give it to you or just throw it in the chat? What what you works can put it on the chat only because I know that there um, everyone here has a role and and one of them can pick it up and save it. Okay. Este va a poner el nuevo, el nuevo slideshow, la presentación, lo va a poner en el chat para que si alguien lo quiere recoger y, y, este, y guardarlo en su computadora para poder tenerlo para Empowering Women. Dr. Malloy, thank you so much. Sounds like education is in your blood, so I really appreciate it. That. Is. It is. <laughs> it is for sure. It is for sure. And thank you so much, you guys. I am so excited and just Look forward to being a part of this community. Invite me to these meetings. I promise I will never be late ever, 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 ever. <laughs> um, and I, I just thank you um, so much for the, the time and effort and all the work that you guys are doing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. And have a blessed day. Have a happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Malloy. Thank, thank you, Sabrina. So hi to your mom and to your kids. I will. I will. I, I have his picture. Your kid's picture. You still have my. He's graduating from preschool, Sabrina. Oh my God. That fast? Yes. He's so big now. And for another